Hi everybody, this tutorial is going to be about jQuery and more specifically jQuery UI. We're going to learn about two different widgets in this tutorial. This is going to be a series. Um, the two widgets we're going to learn about now are uh, Date Picker and uh, Autocomplete. So I am including the jQuery and UI libraries using the Google Ajax uh, Libraries API. Uh, found at the URL here and I'll put it in the description box. So you can see that I just include their JavaScript API and then over here I do uh, google.load jQuery 1.4.2 and then jQuery UI 1.8.2. So yeah, the, so those the libraries are included. Common practice in jQuery is to first check that the document has been loaded. So we do that by doing the very uh, familiar dollar sign parentheses document dot ready, and then essentially ready is just a function that is called when the document is is done loading and within ready uh, you, you don't necessarily pass any variable parameters we're just going to actually write a function within the ready function and this function is not going to have a name to it it's just just like that function parentheses and then, then the brackets and within here actually before we write any more JavaScript I'm going to go below here and actually create a, a form. Both of our widgets today are going to use a text field. And so we're going to, I'm going to define that. This is HTML. Um, this tutorial, I'm not going to really talk too much about the HTML itself. It's mostly about jQuery. So input type equals text. And we're going to define an ID of like my text field. Okay, let me we close that, and with back in our jQuery our dot ready function, I'm gonna uh, once again do the very or the dollar sign parentheses, and I'm gonna do a string. Um, within the string, that's you can think of that as kind of like the DOM query. It's it's search. You're gonna make it so that it's gonna search for elements that meet these specifications within the HTML document. So to indicate that we're looking for an I, uh, a certain ID, we use the pounds or dollar sign and then we type in whatever ID we're looking for. So my text field and I'm going to do dot date picker. Just a normal function and we're going to close that. Done. So that is actually going to create a date picker whenever this text field is selected and whatever date they select will be a string that's inputted into that text field. It's really nice functionality. It would take a really long time to define that um, by yourself, you know, without jQuery. So I'm going to save that. This is on my local directory. So here's our text field. Now if I select that, it actually kind of has a nice effect and brings up the calendar. Right now, since we don't have any themes uh, applied or or any uh, style sheets applied to the to the document, we're just going to see a relatively ugly um, calendar, but that can be easily fixed. I'm not going to show you in this tutorial, but probably later in the series. Um, and if we just select any day, by the way, uh, you can do you know next and previous months. So if you just select any date, it'll enter the full date string into the text field. So it's very useful. Um, that's date picker. There are some uh, parameters you can pass. I'll just show you that right now. Um, I'm not going to demonstrate it in code, but I'll show you on the jQuery UI website where you can see what kind of parameters you can pass, like settings you can pass to this to make it do whatever the heck you want it to do. Um, 
So if you click on date picker, see they have a theme applied here. Um, we don't options, so quite a few options actually. Uh, probably one of the most diverse option lists for the the jQuery UI. So you have disabled, alt fields, alt format, append text, just to name a few, and the list goes on. You can look at that yourself. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so yeah. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the autocomplete uh, feature. So for auto-completion, we have to ha have a data source of whatever type. In this case, I'm going to show you just how to define a static data source um, using a JavaScript variable, and we're going to pass that in as our, our source, and whenever the user types in uh, something into the text field, it's jQuery is going to search through, through our data source. It's going to be an array it's going to search through that and find matching elements with the certain letters in it. Um, so it's just going to be a simple variable var um, my data equals, and then we use these square brackets to indicate that this is going to be like a list of elements. And I'm just going to start putting some string values in there. Google, Apple, uh, <laughs> Microsoft, um, I don't know what else. Let's say Yahoo. Whatever you can put, whatever in, uh, you want in there. And there are ways. Well, not just ways, but uh, the auto completion widget uh, allows you to use like external data sources coming from like server side scripts, PHP scripts, um, or JSON or whatever so it doesn't have to be just a static variable uh, you know but I'm not going to show you any kind of non-static data uh, retrieval in this tutorial uh, so after this my text field query, G, or query thing you know right here we're going to do uh, autocomplete very similar to what we did with date picker, except this time, go ahead and for the second, uh, for the closing parentheses, just go ahead and uh, put some line space in between um, because we have to pass in parameters this time, and also you need to put squiggly brackets in there. So this is how this is standard practice in a lot of J uh, JavaScript toolkits for passing parameters into functions. So source is my data. That's it. And if we save that and refresh the page and we when we click this nothing's gonna happen just yet but once we type let's say G it'll come up in Google once again it doesn't look nice right now but uh, in one of my later tutorials in the series I'll show you how to apply themes and whatnot and make it look nice so I can select Google, it puts it into the text field, let's say I type in A, it'll come up with all the results that have the letter A somewhere within the string, and there are parameters, uh, once again, that you can pass to this function, the autocomplete widget, uh, to change various behaviors, um, and here they are, it's a lot less than the, uh, date picker so you have disabled what which is a boolean true false um, delay min length source and we already defined our source so um, so yeah that's really all I have to say for this tutorial so stay tuned for um, later tutorials in this series about jQuery and jQuery UI um, I'll be talking about hopefully all the um, most if not all the other widgets available and then probably uh, most if not all of the effects available for jQuery so I'll see you later